Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing and first impressions of a CZ Brand 2. Um, this is the 11 inch pistol version. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and have a look here. Comes in a CZ box. Now, spoiler alert, I have been to the range and shot this, and I do have an optic on it. It does not come with the gun. Um, so it comes with the Brand 2. This is the Brand 2. The pistol version does not come with a brace or a stock. We'll go over that in a second. So manual comes with some CZ 30 round mags if your state allows that, two of them. And it comes with a very nice little CZ cleaning kit, which I really do like. The fact that uh, I think every gun I've bought from CZ, uh, this kind of wise has had one, which is kind of, kind of a nice feature. All right, well, let's take a, a, a closer look at this. All right, so let's take a nice close look at this and uh, see what you get for your money. We'll start from the back and we'll go to the front. Uh, at the back here, at the very back, they have this adapter here. Now this you can take off. There is a pin securing this in and there's a little lever here to take this off if you wish. Now, um, this adapter is actually a really nice feature because you can attach a buffer tube to this, even though this doesn't require, obviously, a buffer, um, but you can attach a buffer tube to this so you can put a brace on if you wish. Um, or if you want an SBR um, and you want to use, um, a, you know, kind of a standard stock, uh, you can put uh, again, a buffer in here, uh, a buffer tube, excuse me, and a, uh, and a stock on. Uh, just fine. Uh, if you wish to switch this out and uh, actually add a CZ um, stock, you can do, um, or there is a couple of companies uh, that are making aftermarket attachments like uh, like this. Um, Dan Haga, I believe it is, is making them. Um, and then you can attach, say, an ACR stock also, if you wish to do that. So it's very versatile and very easy to do, as I say, by popping the pin and, uh, and pushing it and taking it off. So. So you can either, as I say, you can SBR or uh, turn this into an actual pistol, uh, wherever you wish to do. <clears throat> okay. Also on the back here, you'll see this part here. This is for a laser sling attachments. They are actually, once you take this off, there's just actually a screw holding this in. So if you wish to take this off and make it a little more slim lined, you can do. Uh, moving forward, we have a QD mount right here. And also you'll notice here that we it does come with um, backup sites, which is a really nice feature. I really like that. I do um, I do own the MS uh, Brent 2 MS Carbine, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. It does not come with backup sites. I don't know why the pistol does, but the carbine doesn't. It seems weird to me. Uh, they're actually, uh, they're, they seem pretty legit. Uh, there's a push button. There is a push button right here to push in and lift the sight up, Whoop, almost dropped it, um, just so you can flip it up like that and it locks in place and take it back down, you'd push this pin right back in here and it would, you'd push it back down. It does come with different apertures at the back here, actually just two of them. So yeah, it's it, they're, they're pretty decent backup sights for sure. Um, let's move along here. So this upper is actually made from a one piece aluminum, except from this front part, but this is one piece aluminum right here. Um, as I said, the MRO does not come with it, um, but this is an MRO with a Geisley, um, Geisley mount. Uh, so moving forward to the charging handle, this is a non-reciprocating charging handle. And what that means is um, when the shot is fired and the bolt, the bolt comes back like that, this the actual charging handle will not come with it. It will go back and this will stay there so it's not reciprocating. Reciprocating, if, if you follow like scars and things like that, they're reciprocating so when you fire, the bolt and the charging handle flies back. Um, and it's kind of a nuisance. So this is, I think, is a really smart move uh, by, uh, by CZ to do it non-reciprocating because I think that was a big complaint with the scars that people did not like and I can see why. Um, moving forward, again, this is the, we're coming up to the four piece here. There's another attachment here for a sling. And we have an M-lock slot right here. And then we have the gas settings, gas tube and gas settings here. We'll go over that in just one second. On top, it has a standard 1913 Picatinny rail and it is numbered. And again, you have the front sight here. Again, just push the, the button in. They're, they're actually pretty stiff. Push the button in and lock it up in place just like so. OK, 
Okay, so moving forward here, so say this is your gas tube, uh, your gas settings, and there's two settings, or three settings. There is, let's have a look here, the numbered. Okay, so the gas settings, there is, and you simply just turn it like so, and the gas settings here is one, two, and zero. One for adverse, excuse me, one for normal, two for suppressor settings, and zero is off. You can actually turn the gas off and essentially turn this into kind of a bolt action if that's what you wish. Um, you take out the uh, gas tube, you're gonna go past one, two, and you're on zero, I believe this is the zero setting. You're gonna push the little button and you're gonna turn this one more time. And you can take out your gas tip that way. For the barrel here, it's actually a lot thinner than the MS carbine barrel. Um, and then moving for, and it is a cold hammer forge barrel, as you'd expect for the price you're paying. So moving forward here, we do have the, um, the three-pronged flash hider. It does uh, just fine to get the range, as I said. I probably will switch it out for a dead air though, as I do like to run suppressed. Um, okay, so moving back along here, obviously we have, the, the lower here is is a, kind of a polymer carbon fiber. It's kind of a mixture, um, very light, very strong. You do have a kind of a typical bolt catch here, um, in a kind of the same location you would have in an AR-15. And then actually the really, once, there's a really lot of nice features um, on this rifle, or pistol, excuse me. So put it back and you lock it, with my hand out of the way. And so you can actually, and I know people are gonna make cringe at this, um, um, but you can actually release the bolt catch from inside the trigger guard right here. And I realize a lot of people might not like that, just maybe due to safety concerns. Uh, I personally, it's kind of a nice feature. Just simply push that down and the bolt slides forward and you can pull it back and push up to lock the bolt also. Then we have a mag release right here. And then we have the trigger, which is actually a, it's a plastic trigger. It's actually for a stock trigger, it's really nice. It's a, so it's a really nice smooth pull. Let's, uh, and obviously these are the safeties and it is ambidextrous safety, which is really nice. So on the fire, obviously the weapon is clear. So let's uh, have a look at this trigger right here. So we got some take up, smooth take up to the wall. Nice, clean, crisp break. And it's got some, some uh, very tactile, very audible uh, reset. Very nice. Let's uh, see what the weight of the pool is here. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what we come out at. We came out at three and a half pounds on the button. Let's do that one more time. Out of the box, these uh, these brands have phenomenal triggers. I've been very impressed. Yep, three and a half pounds on the button again. Very nice trigger. Uh, very very nice stock trigger. Um, you know, if if you've been have you if you used the nicer triggers, I think you'll still really like this trigger, the stock trigger, which is uh, which is great. You have a large paddle here for mag release, so the mag release is ambidextrous also. Uh, let's have a look. What else? Okay, the grip. So <clears throat> I don't believe we're at the market just yet, but you can see here there's a look, a little uh, roll pin, and so you can knock that out and change the back strap uh, for different settings of your hands. Actually, I have a medium hands, and I feel like the grip fits my hand perfectly. If you have larger hands, um, you might want to look at a thicker grip, um, but for me it fits perfectly. And on the bottom here you do have a small storage compartment, um, and the bottom here for storing, I don't know, batteries or cleaning kit, I don't know, whatever you want to stick in there. Uh, very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, going back to the charging handle, I did say it was, it's non-reciprocating, as I mentioned, but I did forget to tell you that you, it is ambidextrous also, and, and the fact that you can take this, easily comes out, and then you can put it back in, so have it on this side. So if you're a lefty, 
and you want the charging handle on your right side or vice versa or whatever, maybe you just like to run it AK style, you can easily switch that. It's very easy to do. Switch. Okay, so this is just a little side by side to give you an idea um, of size. Let me push that back a little bit. Uh, so this is the CZ uh, Brand 2 MS Carbine. Um, I bought this one a little bit ago. Um, and I freaking love it. Um, I have a review on it if you want to check it out. But you can see um, some of the similarities, as you would expect, except from, say, the real covers here, obviously, is very different. And you, can, I don't know how, if you can tell. Sorry, the reason I'm holding this is because my flashlight's on the other side, and if I let go, it's going to do that. Uh, but if you, hopefully you can see the difference in here, how thick this barrel is compared to this. This is a lot thicker, heavier barrel than is on the pistol, um, which is kind of nice because it will lighten up um, as well. But there you go, a bit of a size difference. This is the, the factory OEM stock. Um, now, some of the problems I'm running into, and, I'm sh and it's just kind of with all gun parts right now. So as of posting this video, these are almost impossible to come by. They're just out of stock absolutely everywhere. <clears throat> and the only ones that I can find are Ungun Broker, but they're selling for five to six hundred dollars. Um, so because I want to SBR this, I do want to put on preferably the um, the CZ stock. Uh, again, if I can't do that, I will be using uh, the Dan Hager adapter with the ACR stock, for, which is now run by Magpul, which again, all of that is <laughs> out of stock, so I can't get it. So if you're buying a pistol, if you buy this pistol anytime, around about posting this uh, video, be aware that you might have to just um, go with a brace, uh, like the uh, the SB Tactical brace or something, until if you if you want to SBR this, uh, until you get kind of a stock and adapter that you want, because uh, right now it's just uh, not happening for me. Okay, let me move that one kind of up here. Okay, so um, I do have aftermarket parts on this from. Uh, HP Industries, and I will be adding aftermarket parts to this. Uh, some of the ones I added to was just these safety levers. They're just slightly extended out. Gives you a little more purchase on them, uh, which is really nice. The trigger, um, I told you this is kind of as a polymer trigger. Uh, the HPI Industries trigger in here, it is aluminum, and it does have, you probably can't see this, but it has a little extra piece on here, because this does have a little bit of over travel, the, the stock trigger. It's a super nice trigger, as I said, don't get me wrong. Um, but it has a little bit over travel and they've put this little piece on here to stop that. So it just improves the trigger feel slightly. Um, it's a nice little upgrade. It's not very expensive. One of the other upgrades that I did that I will be doing is the charging handle. Um, this again, this one is kind of a plasticky feel and this one has more of an aluminum feel and it's slightly extended and has uh, better uh, ridges inside here for grip. Um, Again, you don't need to change this stuff out. It's just little things that, um, you know, I felt it would, would be nice to improve, and that's what I've been doing. And I'm going to change out the, the, the guard here. Let me see. Where did that piece go? So I'll also be changing this piece out too uh, to the HP, HP Industries, um, and it just kind of sits like that. I think it just looks a little nicer, um, kind of cleans this end up a little bit. All right, so as I said, I did go to the range. I did not get to film it, unfortunately, um, but it shoots just like my carbine. It's very flat shooting. It's piston driven, so it's, there's no um, there's no gas gas tube or the buffer buffer spring. Right, this is a piston driven system, um, so it does tend to keep things a little cleaner. It performs excellent. I really do enjoy it. I think it's it's really good. I've actually, as you can tell, I like it because I bought another one, right? Um, and I actually sold um, a couple of my errors to fund these purchases. So I am a fan of these guns uh, for sure. All right, MSRP. You're going to be looking about sixteen fifty to seventeen hundred dollars. Um, uh, currently at the moment and again with everything that's going on right now they're not in stock everywhere uh, unfortunately but there we go all right i think that's it if you have any questions any comments please ask them below i'm always happy to help out if i can uh, i'll put a link in the description um, if if i can find um, these products in stock anywhere look in the description and uh, yeah 
All right, uh, that is it. If you haven't liked, hit like and subscribe. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. You get this quality content. Um, yeah, hit that, and uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it, it helps me know that you know. Hopefully, I'm helping people out with these reviews and and so forth. All right, that is it. Thanks, everybody. Catch you next time.